both doors are wide open and I can fit both the riding mowers inside. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. So one we got from Joe. Uh, I think it needs a new start or something. I don't know why. But it makes that noise when you start it. Like a loud bang. And this is the other one. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, huh? All old barn beams just laying there for nine years? 2006 the barn fell down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, two, four, three. Nine years these barn beams were just laying outside. Just stacked them up, you know. And then I used the uh, barn wood. Here, I'll show you for shingling. Like, you know, this stuff. That was the walls of the barn. Uh, it's not the best, but hey, it's free. I mean, you waste it. It's all shingling. But yeah, um, all beams. And I got some on the ceiling too. I bought barn walls on the ceiling too. There's plenty of room in here. I just put like a blue tarp on top so the rain don't drip in here and I got wood on top to hold the tarp down but you know so this is kind of looking out kind of cool huh And this is what it looks like when the doors are closed. This is during the day. I don't have a light in here. I'm not not going to put one in. Because I don't mow during the night. Yes, I did this because it's going to save me a lot of room in the workshop. These two riding mowers take up a lot of space. i got to keep moving them over, back and forth. You know... I don't like moving stuff. Hey Scooby Doo. And here we go. Just close the gate. And I'll show you how sturdy that is. This ain't bad. And this thing, <laughs> this is really sturdy. I mean, like I can't, I can't even make it move at all because all those barn beams. Yeah. That was awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Way to go, Art. Good job. <laughs>